Hello, Just Jax here and welcome to my channel. Getting gloved up, a few hints on the table. We're back with the epoxy resin. After the success that we had with the first batch, Mr. Octopus here, the sphere which actually came out and I've since shaved the edge edges or well, the little seam and filed it down. The nail file works a treat with that. Well, it's a nail buffer. So I'm going to be getting some more of them. I had some more mold to arrive. This one was already here, and this was the super big one I was chatting about. We are going to try and do that in a one today. So I'm feeling so confident. This one arrived in between the last session and this session. It's, um, what's an alien? I think you can see that fairly well. So I think that's going to be cool to do. This one is solely for me because I couldn't resist it. Um, I can't say what it is. I can say it's a family jewels monster, but I won't be able to reveal that on YouTube. I'll have to save the reveal for when I get to that point, because we're going to be confident we will get to that point, for when there's like a members only area so we can have things like that shown. But I want to try and get that done today, but we'll see. It depends how far what epoxy resin I've got left will take us, because these are all quite big. So I'm going to get him prepared as I'm preparing the rest with the colours and whatnot. But these are going to be the focus. And then I've got some simple flat moulds coming, like coasters, because I want to try um inlaying things i've had quite a good experiment with color but i want to try like i say the very first thing i did was an inlay and that was moon fart yeah i captured a moon fart that um was a happy accident but i want to try and do something like that again not necessarily capture something farting but you know, insert things. I've got some cool little cogs, some cool little slices of fruit, all sorts of things, and things that are just laying around that I want to try inserting. Um, though I tell a lie, we did try inserting with a sphere, but I think what I need to do is like do that and then set that outer layer and then fill it with colour because they all just floated to the top. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I think we're going to go with the chameleon powders again with these two because I think they're going to work really well. And then I've got just fleshy pink for the majority of the Family Jewels monster. But he's got some like dinosaur slash dragon-esque legs and tail going down. So that's when we'll get some of this involved. So that being said, out of what we've got here... I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Rose gold green for the melon? I'm kind of tempted to go like purple and red into green, blue, purple, or green, red into green, blue, purple, working with a similar thing but floating down. Though it might be good to break it up, like getting his, because you can see some of his suckers. So I think if we go, if we keep with this for the main body, this would be quite standout for the suckers. So it's not all too much of a similar palette. I'm tempted green, green reds, that did come out quite nice. Let's do that. So, and then we'll think about him. I think we need to get some of this chameleon powder but in darker shades so I'm going to use light on him today but I'm thinking darker for um, in the future when we come back to him so we're going to go all around suckers first Oh, 
on to the purple, blue, red. Oh, that's nice. Right, green, blue, purple for the dome. I wonder if we should actually go gold for the eyes as well. I think we should, so I think this blue, green, purple is going to be nice for the dome. Where the pinky this sort of one joins it. But I think it'll be nicer. The eyes will stand out a bit more if we go back with the gold, green, blue. So that's what we're going to do. And I've also got the epoxy resin warming up as we speak. That does definitely help with the bubbles. Yeah, that's better. Right, he's good to chill. We're just going to give him a little tap the other way to knock out some of that excess. So it makes a really, really pretty print. Pretty print. Right. Make sure he's right in the middle there. This guy, Ancient Bronze, so we're going to try that and I think we're going to go Ancient Bronze, look at all that shimmer over there, up in the melon here. the tip of his tail. Let's put that. I'll tap that out up there for cleaning. All right, and we're going to try and rose gold the rest. This is going to be a rather shimmery work surface. Now, we'll give him one more tap out. This is going to be the most glittery surface ever. Look at that shimmer. Right, and this guy, try. Actually, we'll set, oh dear. Pink just shot everywhere in my attempt to rezip the bag. I think we'll try and mix that colour in because that'll be if we've got enough, we'll get to him. Right. Let me get the mixture. Okay, here we go. And we're going to make as much as we can. So 50 and 50. So 50 of the epoxy. All the way down here. Right on bot, right on point. And 50 of the hardener. Make sure you're flat. Back it in there. Fifty of the hardener. And we need the tiniest bit more because we're just on the line exactly. So we need the tiniest bit more. Right. 
Yep. Tiny drop more. Okay. Right. Let's add a hardener. To the epoxy. Right, I think we are there. It doesn't look like it's swirling anymore. So let's start this guy first. Right, so that's one, that's a hundred. And that's took him about a third of the way. So I reckon we're gonna take two more mixes. So I've got to clean this. And then mix up some more. So I've been being really careful with this. I don't want to... Uh, I don't know what will happen if you... mix stuff that's already mixed with a new batch, whether it's going to affect the balance. So I'm going to clean everything up. Right. We just about got the second cup mixed. It doesn't look like it's leaving a trail behind it. I'm going to stir it for just a tiny bit longer. It's better to over stir than under stir. And that one's gone in there really nice and clear. So we're going to try and do that again. And we're going to pour from the same point and let it f go through to all the legs. So, oh, from the head again. I think we'll start to bring it down actually, so the head's getting quite full. But we will be back again in a moment. Clean these cups up again. I'm going to come and start to fill him in. I reckon he is actually probably there. I might give him a little tiny bit more of the next lot. So back again in a moment after I've mixed up the next cup. Right, third batch made and it is stirred really well. There is no little lines following the stick. That's what I've been using as a guide. That looks pretty full so I'm going to start filling in the alien. He's also pretty much there. So that last little bit, I'm going to mix in the tiniest bit of pink and start filling that. Because everyone else is full. Just a tiny bit. Because I'm going to have to because I've only got a little bit left, so I'm going to use what's left until I've got the next order in, which is on the way. 
which may arrive tomorrow, if in which case, if it does, I'll finish him off for sure. If not, he's okay to wait, he can just chill in the mould until next time. Well, let's just start filling him up then. Right, so that for today is all we can do. So I'm going to get these guys covered up and totally ignore them for the next four hours. Okay, we're back. It's the morning after. Things are fully set. Where can I put this for now? Just over there. Lovely. Okay, this guy's going to have to wait. So I'm still waiting for the extra stuff to arrive to do the second part of him. But he's looking good. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we have to day the slightest bit of ripple the slightest bit that might be down to how many pores it took not moving quick enough but we'll see how it looks on the other side this one no ripple at all actually a tiny little bit but no there isn't actually that's where the colour, the powder has lifted slightly. Oh, and we've got a nice resin pebble. Pretty cool. Pretty clear. Slightly cloudy. But again, I think that's because it's got all shimmer powder on the back of it. Alright, let's have a look, see what we got. See if it'll come out. Looking good, feeling good. I think there'll be a bit of tidy up work to do. Coming away nicely though. Feels really cool in the hands. These moulds are going to have a lovely old wash before I go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Right, before we flip them over and look, mould has come out clean. The only bits that aren't clean are where. The mica powder. Mica powder? Mica powder. Apart from that, it seems to have taken everything from within the mould. So that's good. It'll just be a general wash. Is there going to be the odd thin bit? No, that's just a bit of mould. No, I think all the resins come away. Doesn't feel like there's any left on the mould itself. Lovely, I can get washed. Let's have a look. Oh wow. That's so cool. So smooth. And I'm not seeing, is there a little bubble there? Tiny, I think there's a little bubble there. Or as we've learnt with the moulds, there might be some slight imperfections in the mould. That's all right. That'll be one of the things that we learn to deal with. How to fix imperfections in a mould. He looks good if I just hold him up to the light. I don't see any bubbles, which is really good. That's so cool. And that chameleon powder works so well with him. Look at him shimmer. It's 
So yeah, I think there'll be the tiniest bit of tidying up work to do. So I'm going to go around at a later date, get all his edges smoothed down. Yeah, he is so cool. Let's see how he looks if I... I haven't got my regular torture hand or if I put the blue light behind him. Looks really cool. Oh, look at that dome shine. Yeah, that's really cool. He lights up nice. Okay. He is a success. Loving it. All right, Mr. Alien. We'll put our special little dribble token over there. That's where there's going to be quite a bit of runoff where the mould was filled well, but you can see where it got weighed down because there's support under most of it. There isn't the support under the tail and you can see where it's all the excess has run that way. So there'll be a quite a bit of tidying up on the tail to do, but that's okay. We can do that. Let's see if he'll come out. So far, so good. Nice. And there doesn't seem to be, it seems to have taken all the colour from within the mould, so lovely. All that we're left with is the excess Mika powder, so again that can just be washed. There's our alien! He's really cool. Look at him. You can see where there's going to be quite a bit to cut off up there. So I'll get a blade to that later. But apart from that, the rest of it is gone really well. Be the, I don't think I think that's the only area that needs tidying up. We just have a general file to take the edges down because they're quite sharp. And again, I don't think I think there's one bubble there, right there. But apart from that. I'm just going to hold them up to the light. I don't see any, maybe one. No, yeah, it's just that one pointed out. Let's see what he looks like if we put a light behind him. He looks pretty cool. I'll try and get it in just the right place. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. Look at that. Yeah, all right. I'm happy with those. Let me get a little up close and personal for you. Let's get the light on. There we go. Check him out. He's come out really cool. Nice detail. With all of his suckers. And making the eyes, the colour of his suckers were a good idea as well. I think if we'd have gone for the same colour as the dome. But that has a really nice effect. Look at that. So yeah, he is really cool. Get him right in there. So yeah, the only tidy up work he'll need is just a general I'm going to show you just a general light file where there's a bit of a lip 
but that's okay. That's only in certain points. Is it most of the way around? I love the way they look from behind as well. That looks so cool if I bring it here so you've got less of that. My circle light from up above reflecting. He looks so cool. So that's Mr. Big Octopus, and we know that he's going to take about 200 mil to fill. So these are good things to take note of. So I'm going to get some bigger batches, uh, some bigger silicon cups to mix up in. That's so cool. And Mr. Alien, let's scooch Mr. Octopus over for a second. There's Mr. Alien. You can see where we had quite a bit of run over up there, so that's going to take a bit of tidying up. I'll take that down with a blade and then file the edges. And then you can see on here there's a little bit of a lip. Actually, not so much a lip, just a tiny bit of an edge. But yeah, look at him. He is really cool. My little baby alien. He's got the tiniest bit of a tongue poking out there. Some gnarly teeth. And the bronze mixed with that. Is it orange? Red red gold or red orange gold? Or red, red yellow gold? One of the three. And that's pretty cool. It'll be nice to do him in something really dark to see how he looks. Maybe if we go for a bit, a bit of a black and white vibe with him. So yeah, right next time, I'll have a bit at the end of this video, or we'll save the tidying up for another video on how to tidy your casts after they're done. Because there's a few to tidy up. Really cool. So, yeah, for today, that is that. I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to leave. I'm going to clean everything up. But I'm going to leave it out because I've got more work to do. I missed her up there. But I will give everything a good clean because there's just shimmer powder everywhere and I mean everywhere that's a spark on that right now I'd like to keep it clean and I'm going to wash the molds up and what I've been using well I don't need them if all the resin comes away I don't use nail varnish remover I just get some hot soapy water and wash all that mica powder off because there does get excess around when you're doing this. So I'm going to clean those up. I'm going to clean this up so it's all ready for the next go. Give the surface a wipe as well. Give everything a wipe because it's totally shimmered over. Um, but yeah, that is us for today. Mr. Octopus and Mr. Alien done and loving them. I'm going to have to start making a resin wall so I can get these all erected somewhere. Because they're so cool and I'm building up quite a collection. This could be Mama Octopus, and that could be Baby Octopus. Again, similar sort. I must have unintentionally gone for a similar colour. <laughs> similar colour palette, because they are not far off, even though I wasn't thinking about that one or looking at that one when I chose these colours. So interesting. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me and my channel out. I hope you've enjoyed this, this learning slash experimenting slash having a go alongside me. It's fun. I am going to be trying in probably the next video, I'm going to start inserting things. So not just playing with colour, I want to build up either an image or just play with laying things within the resin. Because I've done a lot of colour work at the moment and there's still more experimenting to do on the colour work. But I want to mix it up as I'm going. So we're going to go with inserting next because I've got a few cool ideas. 
I want to try and make work, as well as doing just clear stuff to see just how clear this stuff sets. Um, though the next batch is going to be of a different brand. This brand was... As I still have the bottle. This brand was Y-R-Y-M-H-T. And the next brand is Janchun, I think. But I will be getting some more of that stuff to have a little more further experiment with it. And they have come out flat. Pretty flat. What about you? Mind you, the worktop isn't wholly flat. Yeah, you're really flat. So yeah, it has levelled, which is brilliant. So yeah, that is us for today. Again, thank you so much. I'm absolutely loving this journey, and I hope you are too. Here's to some growth. At this particular point in time, I am happy to say that my first mental benchmark is there and I have just gone over 50 subscribers so thank you all so much the next benchmark that I've set these are in my head by the way these aren't like uh, YouTube have got much more grand benchmarks which I will get to eventually but my next one's going to be a hundred and we'll do something special then because that'll be the first hundred people that are interested in me and my channel and what I have to offer so looking forward to that so yeah that being said like if you like what you see comment if you've got something to say and subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more and know when it's coming thank you again all so much take care and see you in the next one